Chapter Eight: Tens and Ones. Apu, I have to pay twenty-three rupees at school tomorrow, but I don't know how much twenty-three rupees is. Priya, let's watch this video to help you. All right. In today's lesson, we'll use only the ten rupee notes and one rupee coins. So, using our ten rupee note and one rupee coin, let us learn how to pay a particular amount of money. Now, let's say you went to a store to buy a pencil, which was for rupees twelve. Now, how many notes and coins would you give the shopkeeper? The number twelve, as you can see here. Has one ten and two ones. So for the ten, we have one ten rupee note, and for the two ones, we'll use two one rupee coins. So ten plus two gives us rupees twelve. Let's do another one. How about going to the ice cream store and buying a yummy ice cream for rupees twenty five? Now, how many notes and coins would you pay? Now, here, twenty-five has two tens and five ones. So we pay him two ten rupees notes, which equals two rupees twenty. Now, how much more do we have to pay for the ice cream? You're right, five more rupees. That can be paid by five one rupee coins like this, which equals rupees five. So we have twenty over here and five over here. So that's twenty plus five equals rupees twenty-five. So you know that's how much you have to pay the shopkeeper for your ice cream. Let me give you one last example. How many notes and coins would you pay for a textbook which costs rupees fifty-seven? So can you tell me? How many tens and ones are there in fifty-seven? Absolutely, fifty-seven has five tens and seven ones. So we pay him five ten rupee notes, which equals to rupees fifty. And for the remaining rupees seven, we pay him seven one rupee coins. So in total, we have rupees fifty plus seven equals rupees fifty-seven. Now let's try a few examples the other way around. I'm going to draw the amount of money, and you have to tell me how much it sums up to. Okay? Now how much is this? So we have two ten rupee notes here, which equals. Rupees twenty, and we have four one rupee coins here, which equals rupees four. So that's twenty plus four equals rupees twenty-four. Twenty-four. That's so simple, right? Now let's do a couple of more examples. Okay, this shouldn't confuse you. Just because it does not have a rupee note, let's count how many one rupee coins we have here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we have eight one rupee coins, which means we have rupees eight over here. Now, how many do we have here? We have three one rupee coins, so that equals to rupees three. And here we have four ten rupee notes, so that's ten plus ten plus ten plus another ten equals rupees forty. So we have rupees forty here. So that's Forty rupees plus the three coins on top equals rupees forty-three. Right? 